Okay, we will solve this cubic inequality. Well, let's do it the safe way. Let's move these two terms to the other side. Be sure you make one side equal to zero and then factor it and then do the sign chart. So here we go. Right here we have the x to the third power minus 3x squared and then this will be minus 4x and then plus 12. And this is still greater than or equal to zero. Now, here we have four terms. So it's a good idea to try factoring by grouping first. So these two terms and these two terms. Here we can factor out x squared and then we get x minus 3 here. And then you see here we have a minus sign in between. So go ahead and write that down right away. And look at the 4 and 12. We can factor out 4. So put that 4 down. And that will give us what? Here we have negative 4x. But we took out the negative 4. So it's just x. Here we have 12. But we factored out the negative 4. So inside is negative 3. Just go ahead and do 12 divided by negative 4. We get negative 3. Same thing. And this is still greater than or equal to 0. Now, this and that, they are the same thing. So you can factor that out. So we get x minus 3 times x squared minus 4. And this is still greater than or equal to 0. Can we factor more? Yes, this thing, right? So as we can see, we have x minus 3 times this is x minus 2 times x plus 2. And this is greater than or equal to 0. Okay, so what numbers do we care? Well, for this num for this one right here we care about 3, for this right here we care about 2, for this right here we care about negative 2. And here we go. Let's actually do the number line test right here. We are looking for this thing, yeah? So I'll Okay, I'll write it down here. No, let's let's just do here. Doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, let's put negative 2 here. Let's put 2 here and let's put 3 right here. And pick a number less than negative 2, that's say negative 3. If you put it here, it is negative, and we also get negative and negative. Multiply everybody, we get negative. Pick a number between this and that, we get, that's a 0. Negative times negative, and times positive. So altogether is positive. Pick a number between this and that, that's a 2.5, or 2.1, up to you. This will be negative and then positive, positive. So altogether is negative. Lastly, pick a number bigger than three, that's say four, everybody will be positive, so positive like that. We are looking for greater than or equal to. So for the numbers that we care, we will also have to include them. And let me write down the answer for you guys. So I will put it down right here, I guess. Well, I just put down the answer here. All right, for the answer, we want from negative two to two, okay, including, so bracket and then to two, bracket and then union, we want to go from three to infinity. So three comma infinity, square bracket and then parentheses. Here is the answer, that's it.